Hello, I'm going to talk about project portfolio management and how decision making takes place uh, at three distinctive organizational levels of a firm. Well, this picture uh, should be familiar to you uh, from another uh, video lecture about project portfolio management. That is my first lecture where I explain what project portfolio management is. So this describes uh, the three uh, levels uh, in a firm. Uh, the top level, the strategic level uh, of uh, the company or strategic business unit where executives are and where, for example, portfolio reviews uh, take place. Then uh, there is the portfolio level, that is the level of uh, departments and functions where the middle managers are and where uh, the project portfolio board uh, collect, uh, collectively makes decisions about uh, uh, projects. And then there is the project level, a kind of a operational level where project managers are and also other activities of the firm like uh, job shops and uh, production and uh, uh, all dedicated teams that uh, run the project, the company's operations. Okay, so this is familiar from the first lecture and uh, just wanted to remind you about the three levels. Now, uh, how project portfolio management takes place at those three levels. So first, at the project level, there are phases uh, through which the project uh, progresses and then the gates or milestones or review points uh, where decisions about, for example, continuing the project or uh, discontinuing the project uh, takes place or uh, some important decisions of putting more resources to the projects, uh, project or so. Then uh, above uh, there are portfolio board meetings at the middle management level uh, where multiple projects are uh, uh, considered and the whole portfolio is considered and uh, portfolio decisions are made. And please remind all portfolio decisions, they come down uh, to project decisions. So uh, uh, m making portfolio decisions means actually decisions on uh, projects and, uh, and, and, and their future in a way. And then at the top, uh, at the executive level, uh, we have portfolio reviews. And uh, the portfolio reviews can take place, for example, four times a year. Uh, Portfolio board meetings can be monthly or even more frequent. And then uh, at project level, uh, the gates uh, are uh, synced uh, in the progress of the project. So the project has its own timetable and uh, uh, the decision-making points come when they come. Okay, uh, important uh, issue here in this picture is that uh, uh, there are arrows uh, from the project uh, up to the uh, portfolio board meetings or portfolio uh, reviews and also arrows down, which means information flows, which are rather important. It's important that uh, there is a certain maturity in managing projects in the firm and certain information uh, can be stored or collected from those projects so that we can build appropriate portfolio views about what projects we have and uh, what are their qualities. Otherwise, it's rather impossible to make appropriate uh, portfolio decisions. But it is not only uh, information up from the project level uh, to those uh, portfolio board meeting and portfolio review levels. But it is also that uh, when decisions are made on those boards or reviews, then there is the 
arrow coming down, which means that the information uh, must also be brought down from those meetings to the projects and projects management. Uh, and uh, this means that when decisions are made in those uh, board meetings, it's rather important that someone in the meeting uh, takes the task of uh, uh, walking to the project manager and explaining what was decided, how that affected this decision, uh, his or her project, and uh, uh, what were uh, the actual aspects and, and reasoning that uh, uh, was discussed in, in the meeting. So that there is kind of a feedback uh, to projects. Uh, and also in that way, uh, the projects and their managers are involved in the management of a firm. Um, in the worst case, uh, for example, some project can be decided uh, to be killed in a portfolio board meeting and if no one explains uh, the project manager and uh, provides sufficient information and reasoning, then uh, the project manager uh, might uh, uh, be frustrated and the whole project team might be frustrated uh, by not understanding uh, what their project has been run for and why it's beneficial also from their uh, viewpoint to, for example, abandon that project and move to some other project. Okay, uh, now in this next picture, this one, uh, there uh, is an illustration of timing uh, at those three levels. Of course, portfolio board meetings and portfolio reviews are decided at certain uh, points at calendar time and uh, they cannot be moved from there. But it is also so that these projects, which are now described at the uh, bottom part of this picture, so there are three projects uh, um, uh, described there, like uh, explaining that there is a portfolio or several projects. So uh, the projects must live their own life uh, and have their own timing. And when they come to a gate, uh, the projects cannot start waiting uh, a portfolio board meeting uh, un until they make certain kind of a decision. But uh, projects must just continue and make, uh, for example, decisions to continue their work and uh, this board meeting then can uh, have an effect on the project uh, in de uh, by having a delay or let's say in that way that the boards, uh, portfolio boards for example, can have a veto right for uh, uh, redirecting the project uh, afterwards. Um, and also uh, it is so that uh, if a project was uh, appropriately, uh, appropriately started in the beginning and uh, if uh, not very many important uh, parameters have changed uh, based on the portfolio prioritization criteria and so on, it might be that uh, the portfolio board just uh, um, follows uh, the project's progress and if it's uh, is, is going forward okay and uh, nothing special, n nothing, uh, no changes, uh, significant changes happen. So uh, the project will take itself through as planned and in those portfolio meetings it just might be that uh, uh, the boards are just uh, recognizing uh, the good news that the project is just uh, uh, going as planned. And, uh, and, and no major changes need to be done for that project uh, in that respect or for the actual reason of the project itself. Um, one aspect here also is that uh, when there are portfolio board meetings uh, and those middle managers from the departments uh, gather, they 
typically are existing bodies. They are not separate project portfolio management boards. They are actual boards of the company which uh, make decisions also on project portfolios. So they are the same guys there. Uh, so uh, this kind of arrangement uh, uh, many times frees those uh, managers from sitting in, uh, in the boards of the projects. So when the project is evaluated, when it's uh, decided, when the prioritization is done and so on at the kind of a managerial level, uh, so it can be so that uh, the managers need not to sit on the steering committees or boards of those projects anymore, but they just uh, uh, need to have the information that the project uh, progresses as uh, planned and uh, as was decided uh, uh, in the beginning and uh, no need to sit there and uh, listen any information about uh, specifics about uh, the project's progress. Okay, um, this picture shows the Minsberg's classical uh, 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 schema about uh, realized strategy and uh, emergent strategy and uh, the idea here is that uh, we have first the intended strategy so if the strategy is considered as a plan then we have deliberate strategy and then there is some unrealized strategy based on the plan doesn't always go as as as, as what was how was it, it was expected in the beginning and then there is emergent uh, strategy so there is some kind of a uh, new novel uh, things coming uh, up and uh, the realized uh, strategy is actually uh, the pattern uh, that is a combination of that deliberate and that emergent. And by looking, and then there is also a feedback loop. And by looking at this picture, we can also understand uh, the idea of how projects, uh, on the other hand, they implement the firm strategy, the deliberate strategy, but also some projects uh, might renew the strategy. So they might bring the emergent strategy component and uh, it is important to change, review, and uh, renew the uh, company's uh, strategy based on that project. So, uh, still one uh, thing uh, connected to this previous uh, message about uh, the real, uh, realized strategy the del deliberate and emergent components is the strategy clock of the firm. Well, um, here we have uh, the yearly clock or strategy clock, uh, and we can start reading it uh, from the left where there is the term budget. So the budgeting in a firm it starts in uh, September or October and continues. Uh, until the end of the year. So there is a kind of a follow-up of, uh, of strategy. Then there is a uh, vision creation in January, uh, strategic principles, and then uh, in February or March we are checking uh, whether the portfolio of projects that we have, whether that is in line with strategy. Should we establish new projects, should we kill certain projects and so on. Of course, projects come and go uh, during the whole year, but uh, these uh, are the points where we are kind of uh, comparing that to the firm's goals and objectives. Then we make uh, strategic choices in March and uh, implement strategies and so on until uh, we uh, come uh, to the next uh, year's budgeting cycle and uh, we look what kind of projects we, we have there ongoing 
and these projects can feed in to the next year's budget also or if they ha have been already started so we must take them into account when developing uh, the next year's uh, budget. So this is how we continuously link uh, business strategies to project uh, portfolios and how project portfolios is, uh, are connected to the firm's uh, strategy, yearly strategy clock. Okay, uh, this was uh, everything I wanted to uh, say. Now in this lecture, this was about uh, the uh, uh, project uh, portfolio uh, management and its management uh, management of portfolio um, at the firm level and uh, at uh, different organizational levels. I hope uh, this clarified and uh, see you in the next lecture. Okay, thanks and bye.